Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode that I'm calling Punk and Stuff, I'm going to go through my punk rock box sets. Now, I know you think punk rock box sets, they don't go together. Yeah, they do. Trust me, they really do. In fact, the first batch of these things that I'm going to show are all on the Captain Oi label, and which is just one of the greatest British punk reissue labels ever and they actually put out some new stuff uh, while they're around as well lots of great stuff on this label but i come to punk from a different angle see i was raised you know being a pop kid you know anywhere from you know monkeys neil diamond beatles uh, that kind of stuff so i went in that direction so the bands that i fell in love with are the bands that are more melodic in my opinion but i do love some noisy punk as well and you're going to see what i've got here i'm going to go through them rather quickly because there are a lot of them and i know that you don't have time so here we go we're going to start off with this great cd set this is three cds slaughter and the dog do it dog style this is like an expanded edition just tons of stuff from this era and it's fabulous it's great uh they're a great british punk band didn't get a lot of uh attention here in the u.s but the people who are into punk rock really dig them here are the boys one of the great melodic punk bands if you're into uh they don't sound like buscocks or ramones or undertones but they're along those lines and this has their safari record stuff which is basically the last couple albums plus their christmas album uh, recorded under the band name the yobs it's really fun just really recently i did a video that featured 999 and there are two box sets available uh this one here covers the early years and this one here covers the later years uh there's still mid period there about three or four albums that are not represented on uh their box sets i don't know if they're going to do them but these are absolutely fantastic wonderful melodic great pub punk uh, another great band from that era that didn't get that much attention here in the u.s the drones this has their first album and it has a live album and it has a rarities album and it has a reunion album and it's just it's fantastic i mean the vocalist is not your typical snarly punk they have the snarly punk attitude but he's got a better voice than that it's really sad to think that i believe half the band have passed away uh but they're just absolutely fantastic so that's a four cd set now, if you love that early, great British punk rock, uh, not a lot of hugely popular bands, but the labels are very influential. We're going to start with the Riot City label and check out the bands there. That's four CDs, and that's the uh, singles collection, so it's got a lot of A's and B's, uh, obviously all the single versions. Just look at how many songs you get there. This is not that great melodic punk that I normally am drawn to, but I am drawn to the production, the energy, and the feeling of these things. So I really, really do love uh, Riot City label, and I especially love the No Future label. And this has more, but you know, there's more stuff here that's maybe a little bit poppier if you're more into the poppy stuff, but it's still pretty edgy punk, and it's raw, and it's sweaty, and it's fantastic. And that is another four CD set A's and B sides from this label, you know, bands like channel three, the partisans, one way system, people like that. Uh, lots of great material on that collection. Speaking of the partisans, I just mentioned them. There is a three CD collection out and that's uh, 81 to 84. And that's a really great collection. This is not in a clam box. See these, the no future in riot city and the drones are in these little slip cases. Most of these are in the clam boxes. This is sort of a, thick digipack and that's really fantastic here's another great band along the lines of the partisans but not really even it's the outcasts and that's a four cd set and that's got uh, self-conscious over you which is their classic album blood and thunder they were getting a little he heavier rockier uh but still some great songs and then it's got uh a lot of rarity stuff on there as well you're definitely going to want to check that out one of my favorite oi bands uh and oi bands it's I mean, look it up the internet. I don't have time to get into it, but it's you know it's the call and response. It's 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 aggressive, but in in many ways it's also positive. It's fun, a lot of chanting, fist in the air, anthemic punk rock, and that's the business. In fact, Captain Oi himself used to be a member of the business. I will not mention his real name out loud because he might throw something at me uh here's another great band i love this band to death splodge nessa bounds this is you know this is fun jokey punk rock but one of the great songs that they put out which is a classic song it's called uh two pints of lager and a packet of crisp please 
and this is fantastic. I love these guys. Uh, now, of course, I love Stiff Little Fingers. Now, the early stuff is not compiled by Captain Oi or related labels, uh, but you can get some of their later material here on this box set. Stiff Little Fingers, it's a four CD box set. Definitely worth your while. Another kind of jokey, fun, but very serious and great punk band is Peter and the Test Tube Babies. And this actually has six CDs in it. And, you know, albums and uh, B-sides and rarities and tons of great stuff. And remember when I just talked about the business a few minutes ago and the, the fact that they were an Oi band? Well, here is a collection. It's called Oi the Albums. There was a series of Oi collections that came out. Uh, and it's, I'm sorry, you know, I, I, again, I come from that uh, that sort of catchy you know i love catchy stuff and this stuff is just undeniably catchy but it's aggressive and you know and it's punk rock it's you know it's no laughing matter but i love it though and look at all that material there you get all the original albums like oi the album son of oi i mean i'm not you know saying i'm you know in uh in order there and they feature a lot of the great well-known oi bands but they also feature a lot of the bands that maybe only put out one or two singles uh, again if you want to pause that and look at that uh, these are the original oi albums in one cd set fantastic it's it's really motivating it's 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 inspiring it's just wonderful wonderful stuff here is a cd box set by a band called the addicts boy do i love the addicts again great melodies great hooks great songs uh and the, these albums are jam-packed now, some of the albums, they did go off in a different direction, you know, maybe a little bit more commercial, uh, and that may have turned off some people. But with me, as long as the hooks are there and the songs are there, The Addicts, just fantastic band. Now, here's a band, maybe the name might put you off, especially if you're American, but the band's name is Cox Bar, and there's two box sets on the Captain Oil label. Friggin' amazing, uh, great hooks. To me, they're a great rock and roll band wearing punk boots because, you know, some of these songs could have been recorded by Status Quo. Uh, but, you know, don't don't let that put you off. I'm talking about the early rock and roll Status Quo and absolutely amazing Cox Bar, a total of eight albums in between these two boxes. And, oh, boy, I love them. Now, if you don't want Cox Bar, you might want to settle for the Vibrators. Two box sets here. This is the first few albums and this is the next few albums. And... Again, great songwriter. Knox is great, and, and Eddie, the drummer, just a fantastic, fantastic band. Now, that's it with my purely punk stuff. I've got more here, but sometimes when I start putting this th things together for these videos, I set a stack aside, and then I can't find it again. Uh, but then here is a Buzzcocks box set. This is not on Captain Oi, but this is through Cherry Red. This is pretty much everything that they recorded from when they reunited. Uh, so basically 91 to when Pete Shelley died. Uh, and this has all the studio stuff and it's really fantastic. Just look at how many CDs there are there. Uh, I love Buzzcocks. And unfortunately, I don't think that their last album was their best. I think the album before that, Flat Pack Philosophy, was a much better album, much closer to the old Buzzcocks sound. Uh, anyway, here's some more non-punk stuff. And that's why I call this punk and stuff. Uh, but some of these bands are uh, post-punk and stuff. Here is a great Skids box set that uh, you should definitely check out. The Chords, a great mod band uh, that you should check out. They only put out one album, but somehow they got all this extra material. There's, you know, unreleased tracks, demos. Oh, wonderful stuff. Uh, of course, Penetration, another great post-punk band. That's a four CD set there. If you love your gritty garage rock and roll, The Inmates, uh, and there's the first three albums there. And this has Dirty Water, which is one of those songs that you want to, you, when you're driving down the street, crank it up on your stereo. It is just, you know, if you if you still make mixtapes, that should be the first song on it. Here is Eddie and the Hot Rods, The Island Years. Oh, my gosh. Of course, everybody knows Eddie and the Hot Rods. And if you don't know Eddie and the Hot Rods, then what are you doing watching this video? You should be out shopping for Eddie and the Hot Rods. The Members, another great band. The Virgin Years, uh, this has. Now, of course, this doesn't have Working Girl, which is the song that they're most known for. Working Girl was recorded right after this. Uh, and you can find that album on CD if it's... It, but you have to pay a little bit for it. Another great post-punk band was Theater of Hate. This is their first album. And turn it into a three-CD set. 
Kirk Brandon, just great post-punk. Well, speaking of Theater of Hate, uh, Kirk Brandon broke the band up and formed Spear of Destiny. And there are two CD box sets available. Fantastic. These right here are my three favorite Spear of Destiny albums, and they should be yours too. Uh, but the other box set also contains some great stuff. Now, everybody seems to love Ska, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, here's a great collection here called Staring at the Rude Boys, uh, British Ska Revival, 1979 to 1989. Great thing about this is called lot of super rare stuff if you haven't heard the group graduate you got to check them out uh, i have their full album on cd but it's very hard to get so if you want to hear them check them out here they have a song called elvis should play ska and the graduate was kurt smith and roland orzabal pre tears for fears and it's really fun but definitely check out staring at the rude boys great three cd collection of ska some familiar stuff and some unknown stuff fantastic if you love power pop harmony in my head that's titled after a buzzcock song i assume three cds full of common and super rare power pop stuff from the uk this is uh basically power pop in a new way from 1977 to 81 fantastic stuff there remember when i just talked about ska Bad Manners, their first five albums combined on one box set. Glorious, fun. They're around the same time as Madness, English Beat, Specials, stuff like that. They're a little more goofier, and I don't think they were taken as serious. So that's why a lot of people may not know them, but they're definitely worth checking out. Here's another great band. Uh, the Motors, the Virgin Years, and the Motors were rock and roll, turned into power pop, new wave rock, melodic rock. Great stuff. Now, Oh my gosh, I, I'm going to have to mention this. One of the members of the Motors was Bram Tchaikovsky, right? Well, Bram Tchaikovsky has a box set out too, featuring all three albums by Bram Tchaikovsky, plus a bunch of rare material besides single mixes, etc. And if you love mod, you're going to love that Secret Affair box set. This contains their three original albums, plus their reunion album, and plus all the bonus tracks and B-sides. Fan friggin tastic secret affair one of the most underrated bands on this side of the pond now they're a british band but a lot of people don't really know them i think they only had one u.s album over here if you're a mod fan if you love great soul inflected music then you're definitely going to want to check it out and i'm going to end this episode with i try to feature them in every darn episode this is one of the great pure new wave power pop uh, British rock and roll bands, of course, Yachts. And uh, I stand by these albums. These are some, in fact, I'm, I want to be buried with this CD. Fantastic. You're definitely going to want to check out Yachts. But anyway, that's it uh, for this episode of Punk and Stuff. I don't know if I'll ever do another episode again because I've covered a lot of the stuff that I have already. There's just a small stack somewhere in here missing that I need to find. But I appreciate you sitting around and allowing me to talk about all these great box sets. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me, I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.